Hey Scrappers, Tom here from the iScrap app. And before I tell you about the difference between THHN and Thin Cable, don't forget to like and subscribe to our page. We have so many videos out there teaching you how to make more money on your scrap. And don't forget, I own a scrap yard, so these are like little scrap secrets. Now we've had a lot of people over the years saying, What's the difference between thin cable and THHN? And you know what? I get that. THHN, very close. THIN. We're looking at a difference of one letter, right? A couple letters there. THHN refers to the jacket that's on the cable, right? So when you have pieces like this, this is like a THHN. These are solid strand pieces of copper with a single jacket on the outside. Thin cable generally is not like a THHN. It generally is a thinner wire. It talks about something like this. So when you're looking at thinner wires that don't have large pieces of insulation on them, this is what you're looking at. And you have three pieces of insulated thinner, T-H-I-N-N-E-R, thinner pieces of copper inside of copper computer wire, okay? Less copper recovery. THHN, again, referring to the outside jacket. Everything boils down to copper recovery. What is this piece of wire going to recover at? This is gonna recover between 75 and 80% copper. This is gonna recover between 30 and 50%. When you have these next to each other, you can start to see the differences. I'm just gonna peel a couple of pieces back so you can better illustrate what it looks like, but this is a solid copper inside. So you have that solid piece there. And on this piece, you're gonna have a lot of really, really thin pieces. You could see them in here. They're already breaking apart, just being cut a little bit. So when you kind of compare this, you see on this side, five or six small pieces of copper. On this side, you see a thicker piece. So this is THHN. This is thin to me because when these small pieces of copper go into a furnace, sometimes they'll dissipate into the air where this copper will melt down. Now, one thing you wanna look for when you have different grades of THHN is what's around it. On these pieces of THHN or these pieces of THHN, you have a copper ground that goes with it. On newer, cheaper pieces, they're using aluminum. There's less copper. You have a jacket on the outside of aluminum BX. This is kind of like that jacket. So this would be a piece that you would just want to separate by hand. And again, it's not hard. It's unfolding, taking the piece and going round and around. So then you can have clean THHN aluminum but then when it comes to this type of wire, it becomes thin. And these are all different grades here. This is not something I would ever strip down, right? So thin wire like this, thin wire to me is a, a data wire, it's a computer wire, it's a low voltage type of wire, where THHN is a higher voltage, more of an AC power compared to a DC power. This is what I'd like to call kill you power or hurt you power. This is more of, ooh, that stung power. Not always, it could be more, but think about cutting a low data line like an ethernet line, not a lot of power going through that, opposed to cutting something that goes and powers a machine or powers a refrigerator. Something like this, just to put it in a homeowner perspective, shows you the different types of powers. Hopefully this gives you a better idea and a better understanding, THHN versus thin. If you have further questions, please let me know because it's not always easy to figure this stuff out. I mean, I'm doing this for 18 years and I'm still figuring stuff out. So don't forget, like and subscribe to our page. Until next time, scrappers, I'll scrap you later.